Hi guys and welcome to another Divi 4 video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well today we're going to build this little slider here. It's a regular slider but we've put it over the top of a live streaming YouTube video. Now to do this we do a bit of sort of style jigging around but that's okay. Nice little feature to have on your site. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. Once the Visual Builder is loaded, I'm going to delete everything that we've got here so we can start from scratch. Of course, I'm using the Divi theme here. I'm going to go to the back end to do this, wireframe mode. I'm using the Divi theme here. It's an absolutely awesome theme. If you want to take it for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. Now I'm going to go back to desktop mode and there we are we left with just the row that was underneath so let's add a new section a little blue button to add a section regular section inside I'm going to create one row one column and inside here I'm going to put a code module now here's our code now you want to go over to your favorite YouTube or Vimeo video or whatever you want, whichever video that you can embed from and get the embed code for YouTube just under the video usually there'll be a share button. Click on it and hit the embed button. This is going to give us our embed code right here. Copy it from the beginning of the iframe to the closing of the iframe. If you want to you can choose it to start at a particular time. I'm going to have mine start at, say, the two minute mark. I'm going to start mine at the two minute mark. That way, all the titles will be out of the way. I want to show the player controls. People will turn volume off and on, etc. etc. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the copy button. That will copy that HTML code for us. Now let's go back to our block and paste it in there. As you can see we've now got our video down below but I want this video to be full width so let's hit the check mark there and make this video full width so to do that let's go into the row hit the little cog on the green tab there to design sizing width all the way up I'm going to copy the 100% or you can type it in if you want to. I'm going to just paste mine in at max width. And as you can see, that video is now 100% of the screen width. Let's save that. Great. We've got a bit of a gap at the top we need to get rid of. So let's go into that section and give it a padding or spacing of zero and margin and padding, both top and bottom. Hit the little check mark and it'll do the opposite one. Looks like we still got a bit there. Let's go into our row and do the same thing. There we go. So we've got our uh, little slider there. Well, I'm going to go back into wireframe mode. I'm going to put this on the top of the page. Here it is. There's our code block. Here's the section I want to move up. Just grab it and move it up. Sometimes the back end is a little easier for doing these things, especially if you've overlapped modules like I have here. Now I want this to autoplay. And we need to paste some code in there. It's going to be question mark autoplay equals one. I'll put this down below the video if you want to use it. As you can see, that's started playing the video automatically. I'd kind of like it to be muted. So let's put another piece of coast code in there. I mean, we've got, our, if we scroll down just a little bit, we've got our controls on the bottom right there so we can stop and start and mute it here. But when they get to the site, I'd kind of like to have it muted. So let's add another bit of code. Just after autoplay one, I'm going to put in and mute equals zero. And 
And as you can see, it started playing it again, but there's no sound. So that's kind of what I want. So let's save that. That's great. We've got our video. It's doing everything we want. As you can see, we've got our controls on the bottom. It's a little bit tall. I'd like it for my controls just to be at the bottom of the page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a bit of margin to scoot this module up. The top half will be a little bit under the nav bar there, but that's fine. That's not a problem at all. So let's do that. And to do that, I want to go into the section and it's hidden under my row there. So let's hit the little purple button. Go back into wireframe mode, go into the section. Now we can flip back to desktop view. And I can go into the design and pull this section up a bit with some negative margin. So I'm going to go minus. I want to say, let's try minus 200. That's popped it up a bit. Not quite enough. It's right, just right below my nav bar there. So let's try 250. That looks perfect. Just got a tiny little bit of the next section. So let's drop that back a little bit with the little arrows until it sits right there. There we go. OK, fantastic. Well, that's great. I actually want a slider on top of this now, though. So what I'm going to do is create a new section. Little blue button right there. I'm going to make it a regular section. One column, one row again. Inside, I'm going to put a slider module. And as you can see, there's the slider module. But I don't want any background color on it at all. What I'm going to do is I'll give our row, in fact, I'll give our section a background color. Go into our wireframe and I'll give the section. Here it is. I just want to give it a background color of blue just so we can see what we've got going on on top of it. We're going to move it in a moment. And this row, I also want to make this row full width just like we did with the top one. So I'm going to go and design, sizing, width 100%. And paste that into max width also. Let's go back to our site. And here's our video section right here. So let's just edit this a little bit. First slide. I'm going to leave that just like it is, but let's add a video or something to it. So I'm going to go to YouTube. I'm going to get a video URL and add a video. And I'm going to hit the insert from URL button. Paste the URL in there. Hit the insert into post. And we've got our YouTube video there. Fantastic. And I'm just going to adjust that title a bit. I'm going to change the color slightly on it. Title text. Everything else I'll leave the same. See what choices we've got here. Let's use a sort of brilliant pinky purpley color like we did before. That's fine. All right. Let's move on to slide number two. Um, this one I'm going to pretty much leave as it is. It really doesn't matter. You can do exactly what you want with it. This one, let's just put a bit of overlay behind the text there. So I don't want to use a whole background overlay. I'll just use a bit of text overlay. Perfect, just like that. And let's change our button to that that color. I guess we'll use a sort of been using this purpley pink thing. That's fine. And we'll take that opacity down. Fantastic, something like that. And we'll just style that button and we'll call it done. It's custom styles. All I want to do is change the background color. Fantastic. And I'll do the same with the border color. 
great. Now I want to make sure there's no background color on this slide or the other one. So let's go to background. Let's get rid of the color that's there. Just click on it and take the opacity slider down all the way to make sure we're still seeing the blue background of our section, which is fine. Okay, and let's just do the same with that other slide that we had there. The first slide, make sure it's got no background color. Let's take that away. Click on it again and pull the opacity all the way down. Now, what I'm going to do, because it's all very well, we've got our slider. Let's make it work. Let's make it automatic. Go to the main slider element to design. Let's go down to animation. And we'll say automatic animation. It's set to seven seconds. Let's say six seconds, 6,000 milliseconds, which would be seven seconds. Okay, now what I need to do is I want to give this some negative margin so we skewed it up above so it's on top of this video here. So let's do that. So let's go into our design. Let's go to space. And we're on our slider settings below. Remember, we're just doing the slider. And I want to give it a negative margin at the top, which will bring it up. And I'll bring it up. Let's try 70 VH, which is the viewable height. If you type it in correctly, 70 VH. There we go. That's brought it up here. That's not quite enough. I'm going to use my arrows to bring it up some more till it's where we want it. Great. That's just where we want it. So the slide is actually over the top of the video now. Fantastic. And we've got a bit of space here, so we can take this up. Left click on these and slide them when you need to with the divi. And we'll just pop that up. So it's just sitting on the bottom there. Fantastic. Just what we want. Now everything's in place. OK, that's great. But we're probably going to have a problem when we look at it on a tablet and on a cell phone so let's go to tablet mode and see what happens there we'll have to do a bit of adjustment i believe yeah so the first thing i want to do is bring the video back down to where it was so let's go into a wireframe mode and this top section we want to take away that margin that we had going this is on a tablet isn't it so it's spacing I don't want that margin at the bottom. We can take that away. Just uncheck that. At zero. I'm going to go over to the responsive, which is a little cell phone right here. Click on it. It gives you the desktop, which we'll leave right there. Tablet version, which I want to reset to zero. And phone version, which should be on zero too. The fantastic desktop version. Okay, let's see what that's done. Let's just click back on our tablet view great that's brought the, the slider down as you can see but our actual images are way too high so we need to go back into that module let's just save this go into the module itself if that's the slider no nope. our sliders underneath is the one we want to bring down so let's go back into wireframe here's the slider and it's the actual, just the module itself we want to bring down. Flip that back over the tablet view so we can see it, bring it down enough. If we go to our spacing, we got minus 81 VH. That's way too much. So let's try for the tablet, hit the responsive. Let's go to tablet and change that 81 to let's try 60 VH. VH is vertical height or visible height. <laughs> Completely the wrong way. Minus 60 VH is what I should have said. There we go. That's almost there. Let's use the arrows to adjust this going up the wrong way. There we go. That looks about right there for a tablet. It's 
fine. Let's have a look on our phone because we're going to need to readjust it on the phone. That's not actually too bad. To be honest, I might even hide this module on the phone because videos don't usually play back on phones at all. So what I'm going to do is let's adjust this anyway. It's just it's going the wrong way there. It's fine. And what I could do is bring that button up slightly. Go into that second slide. Let's go to design. Let's go down to the button. There it is, custom size button. And we want margin on the button which is right here button margin let's give it a negative margin on the top let's see how far we can scoot it back up that's gonna work fine that's absolutely fine so let's leave it at that let's have a look at it on the desktop it's fine let's look at it on the tablet that's fine and on the cell it's okay like I said I don't think the video is going to work on a cell anyway we could bring this whole thing down slightly on a cell let's go to the actual main slider settings let's just bring it down just a tiny little bit spacing phone minus 46 going the wrong way Try that. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Fantastic. Okay, the only other thing I'm going to do is take that blue away from that section there. That was on our slider section. Let's save these changes. Let's go back to our slider. Here's our slider section. Let's take the background color away. Now I'm going to just take that opacity slider down all the way just to make sure it's gone and let's go back to our desktop view and slide down there we got no blue there fantastic we can go straight to where we need to go and there's our video slider so let's save our changes exit the visual builder there we go and there is our slider with a youtube video background don't forget if you're going to use a video background put an image or something in the background of your section in case that the the video fails you'll have a fallback then so i hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up share comment and subscribe to our youtube channel if you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free web development courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.